try to feel with the wire. Make sure that the trap will be straight up and down. Because you don't want it to, imagine my hand's trapped, you want it to be straight up and down. And let's say there's slack in the wire, you don't want that trap to bend like this. Because beaver might go over, less chance of it going through, or it might go back. So, hopefully we can get another one. Thanks for watching. Set inside a muskrat hut. Now what we've done is we just chopped a hole in the side. The outside is frozen. Muskrat's using the inside. Now, inside, I'll kind of describe it to you. As I put my hand in to the left, there's a wall, and I keep feeling there's still a wall. And then it goes down, and there's a tunnel, and that goes down into a muskrat run. And I keep feeling, and that's it. And the run goes up, and there's a shelf. And there's wet vegetation on that, so I need to re-wet the outside. I'm just going to take some of that vegetation out. Use that to re-wet. Muskrat won't notice, because I'm going to have them in my trap. Now what I have is a number one Victor Long Spring. Good muskrat trap. Now you want there to be enough chain or wire on your trap, so the trap will not stay set. So the muskrat will go down the tunnel and it will drown, but you don't want it to get too far to where it will get out and tangle in the weeds. Let's see if this one will stay set. There we go. Now I'm going to start by staking that. The trap won't stay set at the moment. So I'm just going to stake it. And I feel like I got a little too much chain on, so I'm just going to wrap it around once. Get a little less chain on there. Hopefully it will stay set this time. And I'm making sure that my trap will be where a muskrat will put its foot. Then I got my wet vegetation, put that on the outside, that'll freeze. Then take the vegetation that was chopped out, put that on top, extra insulation. And then check the set tomorrow, get that video, see what we get. Thanks for watching. We're checking on Muskrat Lodge, we got a one half coal in here. It's on this pond. Now, and I think it's some of my first monster rat trapping videos of this year. Over there, had a den set for an open water, and then this is the pond by it. Now, I'm just gonna grab the chain, hold that up. Got a muskrat. First muskrat of the year. He got drowned nicely in that set. Now uh, check your regulations for the for this type of set because uh, you want to know what's constant for sure. I'm not sure what other states, but it's legal here in Minnesota. So I'm gonna plug this lodge back up, bring this muskrat home, skin him. So thanks for watching. This muskrat. side so you'd be kind of forced into that little run. I put the 330 in there. I just wired it. Log. And I got them. It's a small one. A little 10 pounder. 10, 20 pounds. So I'm going to reset the trap. And I'll put it back in. We'll get that on video too. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh. Okay, what I got here. These are logs. Big one. Now behind the cameraman, I have a 330 set.
catch. Got a, a nice block closer to the pit. Oh well. Catch the catch. Second beaver of the day. We'll get him out of the trail. Not a very big one. Nice one too. Uh, that's not good. Not good. Some fur came off. That's good. Beaver nonetheless. Dry him off in the snow and we get this reset. Save it. Thanks for watching. Well, we're back at the beaver set again. another beaver at the end. It's not the biggest, but it'll do. Get it out of the track. one here yesterday. About the same size as this one. No, so these are either two two year olds that moved last spring and they made well this house has actually been here for a few years, but it's been dead. So they probably moved in here and just started using that. Or these are two kits from two larger beaver. Not one hundred percent sure. There's beaver. Wind up drying him off in the snow. Reset. Now, when you're drying off a beaver in the snow, all you do really is just run it through the snow, rub some snow up in its fur, because the snow gets the water out, so then when you're running the rest of your traps, the water and the fur, it won't freeze, so when you get back to your skin check, you won't have a frozen beaver. And you see it's now pretty partially dry. Not 100% wet anymore. Then over here we had a muskrat set. There's a muskrat lodge right there built into the beaver seed bed. And well, first day I was here setting traps, I was sitting there chiseling through the getting into that beaver set. Then I noticed something move under the ice. I'm like, a beaver just went through the hole? Well, no, it's a muskrat. I follow him up to that hole. Part of bull rush. Then he came back under the feed bed. There's bubbles all up in here. So what I did is I just took a 110 put a potato on the trigger. I usually use carrot, but don't have any with me. So hopefully we'll get them. Well, thanks for watching. Okay, uh, here at a beaver lodge. Oh, well, yesterday we were checking another beaver lodge. Came down. We we're looking for muskrat huts because bunch of cattails and what was on this beaver lodge. And it's on one run here, one run on the other side, put a 330 in each. 
first trap. We got a nice small beaver. Then the next trap. We came up. The cameraman, that's what Trapper Nate. He saw that there was a foot above the ice, so the, you can already see it. It's a big foot. Well, we noticed that. So I said, we got a big beaver. And what do you know? It's got a nice big beaver. Got him right by the neck. Nice clean catch. So, we're going to reset these. Hopefully we get two tomorrow. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, uh. Well, we're coming up to this muskrat set. And we came up here. It was the weirdest thing. Our hole that we put in there, it was busted back out. So, snake was still here. I didn't think it was trap theft. Pretty sure it wasn't. Could have been a mink something coming in to eat my muskrat. Well, grab the chain. Well, must have just been the muskrat that busted it out. Nice muskrat, dry moss in the snow. Reset the trap and we'll get on to the next set. We're walking. Well, we're coming up to a muskrat set. Behind us, there's either large fox, or small coyote track. And on this hut, there's two holes in right here. And I didn't know what did that. The muskrat must have done it, or either the fox or coyote came in and wanted a nice muskrat dinner. And I'll well, grab the trap. Oh, he's alive. <laughs> I'll, I'll dispatch him. And thanks for watching. Well, we're here at the Wheeler Lodge again. Now we picked seven the other side with nothing. And when we're pulling this one up, we know we got clipped in the wire. And if you notice, we chiseled it out all the way over there. He was frozen to the bottom of the ice. Nice head catch. Head to the neck. Well, it's not a big one by any means, but it's not small either. Good. 30, 35 pounder. That's the third one for the lodge, first one of the day. Got, I think, one more beaver set on this lake, then probably 15 muskrat traps. Check those. And some sets on another lake, then. Well, thanks for watching. Well, we're here at a muskrat set. Coming from the bigger part of the lake into this cool bay. And there's open water right over there, so we had to come down the side from a trail that we already found. We were coming over here because there's a beaver lodge at the other end. And oh, then we saw these two muskrat houses and said, hey, let's set here. The cameraman set that one, I set this one. He had a set, uh, snap trap in there. And then this one, well, I actually snapped the stage, had to look for the chain. And I can see the chain rattling, <laughs> so I got one. But it's not good because it's alive. I'll have to let him back in there real quick. There you go. That's a big one. Pretty nice. Yeah. So, thanks for watching. We're at a beaver lodge, checking on a beaver trap. I there's a bubble trail going into the lodge. And this is already thin, so I set right here. Walked out the side. And 
I got a beater. And then that trap over there was set off. That could have been user error, I'm not sure. So, thanks for watching. <coughs> Or beaver lodge over there, the speed bed has the channel going through the mud, and this is the only place where we found the dead engine and had a chain next to the stick. Same size as most of them that we've been getting. That's a beaver. Nice 20, 25 pounder. Grab out of the snow and thanks for watching. They have awesome.